Good morning, welcome back to the village. It's exceedingly hot today and Tamara has decided that for breakfast we're going to have burek, which I think I would say is fast food from Bosnia and Herzegovina. Some people call it pita, which also means pie. So let's get the car out of the garage and uh, get on the road, get out, buy it and get back as soon as possible. This heat is now unbearable. This morning's ride is to get burek, which is like pie, basically. Is burek and pizza the same? Yes. So, yeah, it's same like... Same thing, different filling. Same thing, different filling. You most probably don't get a lot of my voice or Tam's voice today because of the uh, wind. But we have to have the windows open because it's so outrageously hot. Again, 28.5 Celsius. 28.5 at the moment. So I think that burek is the equivalent of um, Bosnian fast food because you can get it everywhere almost everywhere on uh, roadsides and in villages and towns and cities everywhere and every area thinks that theirs is the best don't they yes they do. so we're gonna go off we're gonna buy two types today one is gonna be in one place and the other I think that well you'll find out in a minute it's gonna be from somewhere else so this is a little journey out. That's the only way, only if they don't have computer shot in the other place we're going. Okay. Okay. So see let's you soon. so let's see what happens. That's our small local kiosk. Our one-stop shop for last-minute stuff. Hvala. So that's bread and burek. Bread and burek. Bread and burek. I'm sure they don't make it here. Only on fasting, big fasts. So we're going to go to the other place. Yeah, we'll stop off because David only eats krampiruška. Yes. He's different. He's an Englishman. He doesn't <laughs> know what's a proper pita. So this is the second place, small roadside uh, bakery, not, from, not far from where we live. And normally, normally behind those doors is a satch. It's like a bell thing where they make pita. Thank you. 
Ne ono što siće da se rješim. E, hvala vam. Doviđenje. Job done. Job done. Vruće. And by the way, that's an old flower shop. just unpacked it um, it's the same whether the filling is different or not the burek that Tamara and her mother have got uh, with meat and I like mine with potato krompia so it's called krompirusha and it's always drunk with um, some yogurt yeah this really is fast food as you saw you can just drive in order it and then you get it so I don't have any lights on here. I'm trying to keep it as cool as possible. And all the, the blinds are down, the shades are down. So as I said, there's always some yogurt. You, it's traditionally that you eat this accompanied with yogurt, which surprisingly, I wasn't a great fan of before I came here. And once again, this is the pita. I've very rarely seen people eating this uh, with their <clears throat> with with a knife and fork, I think the only people that would eat it with a knife and fork would be foreigners, and they would think they were doing it politely. But it's just a case of ripping it. That's gorgeous. Um, I'm not a great um, cook, but this is made with phyllo pastry. I think there's two sheets of phyllo pastry, and then the filling of crumpia. And on top, I might have that wrong, but you will see it served in restaurants, sometimes like we just had here, like it's elongated. Sometimes they make it into nice little swirly patterns, but it, it, it really is nice. And as Tamara said earlier, in the pekera, in the baker, not many bakers sell this because it's a, a meat eating country, really. That could be too stereotypical, but whatever. This uh, crumpier potato is definitely served when uh, Orthodox Christians have a fasting period, um, especially leading up to Christmas, but I really love it. And it was quite refreshing. Yesterday, when Tamara's niece, Victoria, was here with her friend Iman, and uh, Iman said that her favorite was crumpier usha, so. And she's a nice young girl, so I'm in good company, aren't I? So that's it. I hope it's not too hot where you are at the moment. And if you're watching this in a year's time, let's hope that we're not in the second ice age. I'll catch you soon. Priyatno.